Okay, so just noticed this letter from Sonny himself, and I think this is the first time we hear from him, so I figure I might as well cover this. Dear brother, you don't know how much I needed to hear from you. You don't know how much I needed to hear from you. I wanted to write you many a time, but I dug, uh, but I dug how much I must have hurt you, and so I didn't write. But now I feel like a man who's been trying to climb up out of some deep, real deep and funky hole, and just saw the sun up there outside. I've got to go outside. I can't tell you much about how I got here. I mean, I don't know how to tell you. I guess I was afraid of something or trying to escape from something. And you know I have never been very strong in the head. Smile. I'm glad Mama and Daddy are dead and can't see what happens to their son. And I swear if I'd known what I was doing, I would have never hurt you so. You and a lot of other fine people who were nice to me and who believed in me. I don't want you to think it had anything to do with me being a musician. It's more than that, or maybe less than that. I can't get anything straight in my head down here, and I tried, uh, and I try not to think about what's going to happen to me when I, uh, when I get outside again. Sometime I think I'm going to flip over and never get outside, and sometime. I think I'll come straight back. I'll tell you one thing, though. I'd rather blow my brains out than go through this again. But that's what they all say, so they tell me. If I tell you when I'm coming to New York, and if you could meet with me, I sure would appreciate it. Give my love to Isabel and the kids, and, uh, and I was sure sorry to hear about little Gracie. I wish I could be like Mama and say the Lord's will be done. But I don't know, that seems to me that trouble is the one thing that never does get stopped. And I don't know what good ideas it does, uh, it does to blame it on the Lord. But maybe it does some good if you believe it. Your brother, Sonny. Okay, so where to start? Um, where do I start? <sighs> okay, so I can't tell you about how I much about how I got here. As in he doesn't know how to tell him. Hmm. Sounds like the heroin was just, you know, that I guess it just sort of overcame him. You know, when it comes to these sort of drug addicts, they want to break free, but, you know, the addiction is often too strong and it gets the better of them. You know, it's always sad when that, whenever that happens. And then, yeah, th there's also this part where it says he doesn't want him to think it had anything to do with him being a musician. Very interesting, very interesting because um you know I, I've always had this sort of image in my head that musicians and actors have a higher chance of getting drunk you know maybe they let the fame get to their head and you know I feel like that that's why uh that's why Sonny has to put this disclaimer about it having nothing to do with him being a musician But, you know, he says even he can't get everything straight, so who knows if he even knows the answer himself. Um, but, yeah. But, yeah, I guess later on they will meet up at New York, and, you know, I'm at 4 out of 17 pages, which, uh, that, that is technically 8 out of 32, so... Yes, we shall see. We shall see where this story goes with our character, Sunny.